Well, hey everybody, it's me, Jermaine, and I'm back with another Simple Truth. And this is an update. This is not a news update. I'm out and about today, and I'm handling some things, getting some, running some errands, and just doing the things that need to be done on a daily basis to be able to survive in this, in this world that we live in. And I wanna pose a question to those that are out there. Now, as many of you know, I am a Hebrew Israelite. And what that simply means is that I follow the laws, the statutes, and the commandments as laid out in the Bible. And people, they ask me, well, what is being a Hebrew Israelite? What does it mean in, in regards to Christianity? Well, Oftentimes, when I talk about being a Hebrew Israelite, people look at it as a knock against Christianity. Well, that's neither here nor to say whether it's a knock against Christianity or not. It just is what it is. We follow the Bible as the Bible is laid out. We don't allow man's interpretation of things and man's introduction of added things to be a part of the belief of the word of the patriarchs of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob and David and Jesus. What's most important is following the most high as he he has deemed us to follow him. Camera shaking a little bit so just bear with me. But I want to pose a question to those out there who say that the laws in the Bible are done away with and you don't have you can do basically whatever you want to do and and grace covers everything. I want to pose something to you. And I'm going to take it out of the realm of belief or faith and I'm going to put it in the realm of everyday life. If you are a parent and you have children and if those children live under your roof and they're uh, under, um, if they're at the age, of, I mean to say, if they're at the age of responsibility, where let's say they're 12, 13 and above and in your home, you have certain rules and regulations in your home. And you have certain expectations, guidelines that they are to follow. And they chose, maybe by the influence of others uh, that are out, that they go to school with if they're not homeschooled, which many of you know that I encourage homeschooling opposed to uh, being in the public school or the public fool system or simply the public indoctrination system. And they are told by their parents, I mean, I'm sorry, their contemporaries, other students, that the laws in the house that you live in, they're done away with. You know, um, they don't mean anything anymore. And they come home and they begin to tell you what they will and won't do as far as you being the authority figure. I hope you can see where I'm going with this. I hope you can see where I'm going with this. But if if you can't, then that means you don't have to, the eyes to see nor the ears to hear. You are just convinced in what you want to believe. And it doesn't matter what anyone says. But they come home and they tell you that your rules, your regulations, your guidelines are done away with. They don't mean anything anymore. We don't have to do that. Do you not think? Or do you not know, myself being a parent, I'm telling you what I know as being a parent, there are going to be consequences and repercussions for such action in my home. Yes, you heard me, in my home. That's something I want you to think about. I'll take any, any type of response that you choose to give. And please, please be intelligent in your responses and 
if you choose to respond, don't 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 put anything ignorant out there. Do you not think that the Most High is above us in the fact of how He would think about those who say that His laws, His statutes, and His commandments are simply done away with because that's what people want to believe? Remember, Jesus did not come to do away with the law or the prophets. He came to fulfill, and fulfill doesn't mean finish. It means to bring into a greater understanding. This has been the simple truth. And as I always tell you, it's the simple things that are oftentimes the most profound, but yet they're the most difficult to put into practice and to actually do. I want to thank you for joining me on this episode and I'll be sure to see you, you, and you again real soon.